Hey guys, it's been a bit. I uh, decided we're gonna try to record a video here real fast. Uh, I am out in the middle of the Hoosier National Forest uh, by a little stream. Absolutely stunning out here. Um, but it's the middle of winter, and as you'd expect, streams are pretty hard to fish this time of year. And so, what I'm fishing, I've got the actual stream running across this side, and then you can see here, I've got this tiny little inflow that goes into this little deep spot underneath a tree. And you guys can't see it, I'm sure. We'll try zooming in anyway. But there are a number of little minnows down there. You can actually make one out right... Ooh, that's my... Nope, it won't focus. It's alright. Uh, you can see them moving around down there, just barely. They're all grainy. But what's exciting is, there is one really large, very colorful southern red belly dace hiding in there. So, today's goal was going to be to catch a few darters. But I think we're going to spend a little bit of time right here and see if we can get them. way harder than it should have been. Alright, I've been here. Oh lord, look at you. Alright, there he is. A little southern red belly dace. Just like I said, underneath that little pocket, you can see a couple of the little juveniles back there, maybe. All right, this is what we were really after. Look at that gorgeous little guy. I'm gonna get a couple pictures of him and then I'll let him go. All right, we're gonna let him back go. Go on, little bud. Boop. There he is. Ooh. All right, so setup's pretty easy. It's basically what you've seen me use before. Uh, it's what I used most of the way out to California. It's just a little split shot down to a size 30 hook. Teeny tiny little hook there. I pretty much covered it all the way up with worms because they were getting really gun shy. Um, and there's a bunch of little creek chubs that I wanted to avoid. But this is kind of the basics of how I break this down. Uh, this was the first spot I checked. Because uh, that current's moving pretty fast, and you don't really see many minnows running around. Uh, but the second you come to one of these little coves where you get relaxed current... I mean, if you just look down here... You can see them. And I know a lot of you will think this is a lot of effort for a very little fish. And you're not wrong. But it's an amazingly beautiful fish. It's native to this area. I would argue it's worth coming and checking out. They're prevalent all across, uh, the, well, pretty much the majority of southern Indiana. And besides them, you've got your usual creek chubs. There's some kind of bottom minnow here. Probably a silver jaw, if I had to guess. But, yeah. That's what I'm doing today. Just gonna poke around, look around for some more minnow species. If we see something too exciting, I'll share it with you. Alrighty, we found the second spot I wanna fish. You see, you got this little riffle up here. Comes down into kind of a deep bowl. Sorry for that pan. And then gets shallow again. Those kind of spots always hold fish. And I've got right down here, right where that uh, the rocks meet the clay. Got a school of some of the bigger minnows hanging out. There it is. Got him. Let's see. The camera will be. We got this little fella. Which I'm just gonna go ahead and call a. Golden Shiner, 
He could be something different, but I don't want to sit and do the counts. I don't have my book with me. But he's a pretty little fella. Well, I was going to call it a video right there. But I was wandering up the stream and I found this. I thought you guys would like it. You guys ready? It looks like just a bumpy rock, right? But if you get in close... These are all impressions of branchiopods. And, well, branchiopods are bivalves or anything in kind of that area. So this is one giant fossil. And while I was up there... There you go, there's a pretty good view of it. And while I was up there looking at the rocks, I found a really, really deep hole full of giant chubs. So we're going to go catch a couple of those. And I think we're going to end the video on that note. Yeah. The guy that just took the bait right now is what looks like an emerald shiner. A big emerald shiner or... There we go. There we go. There's our creek chub for the video. That'll probably be our creek chub for the video. I don't think you guys need to see 600 of those, but one of the biggest of the day. There are much bigger ones in this little pool, but they're being finicky. And I don't think I want to waste that much battery power on it. But I'll let this little guy go. Well, I thought we were done with this video, but I lied again. Their big old stripe shiner took the bait just a second ago, so now, now we've got to catch one of those. Oh, well. Maybe it was a golden shiner. Let's take a look here. Not the first one of the day, but the biggest, for sure. Got some nice iridescent scales. I'll have to... Ooh, Ooh stop it, buddy. Buddy, settle down. There he is. Let me get the camera to focus. Oh, well, there he goes. <laughs> we'll try that again. Well, we're back at it again. I thought we were done, but there are some what appear to be either probably common or striped, or uh, I think just striped shiners. I think that's all that's in this drainage. And you guys have seen me catch one already in this video, but these guys are significantly larger. I think I called the one earlier Golden Shiner, but seeing the adult versions of them, I would be doubtful. We saw, you guys saw me catch a juvenile of these before and I called it a golden shiner because when they're that small they're kind of hard to differentiate. But here's an adult. Oh no. Hold up. Try this again. Alright, you guys saw me catch a juvenile before and I called it a golden shiner. Uh, kind of hard to differentiate and I don't have my range maps with me. But this should be... If I recall correctly, this should be a little striped shiner. That should be all that's in this area. Um, as far as uh, if whether it's a common or a striped shiner. So, that's another cool one. And that's a pretty good size one for around here. And we're actually going to call it a video here. And say farewell. But as always guys, good luck and tight lines.